Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences in position relative, absolute and position fixed in CSS because this is a concept that really confuses a lot of web developers including freshers. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, do it right now and like the video in the end if you found this useful. But regardless of that, let's get started. For this example, we have a really simple HTML CSS application in which we have essentially this body with yellow background. We have this container wrapper with blue background. Then we've got this wrapper element that is red and then we've got a box and then we've got a text. First of all, we are going to talk about the position relative and how that works in general. Position relative basically allows you to move a particular element from its original position by giving this a top, left, bottom or right. But essentially it just moves compared to its original position. For example, if we wanted to move this box a bit downward, what would happen in this case? So for that, I need to give this, for example, top, but I'm going to give this a top of, let's say 30 pixel. When I do so, it won't move because you can see that there's no change in the UI. But right now, if I give it this a position relative, then you'll see the change. You see that it moved away from its original Original position. One more thing to notice is that this element that says I am a text, this doesn't get affected because the only thing that moved is this particular box, the I am a box thing. And as I mentioned again, it moved from its own original position. I could now also say, for example, something I left 30 pixel, and that would essentially be the 30 pixel from its original position, which is exactly some place like this. So if I make it like one pixel, you will notice that it's just one pixel away from its original position or the left position position itself. Now, if we want to use the same thing here, for example, with this cross box, and we've got a condition where we have this element. If I show you the HTML, it looks something like this. We got a wrapper element inside that we got this box and then this text. And this is essentially this text box that you see. So this is the text box with the dotted border inside. We got a span and then we got another span with a cross icon class. And we want this cross essentially to be something like here. So for this, what we need is we need to give this another C CSS style because we don't want to use it on hover but rather every time. So if I say cross icon and if I say left 30 pixel or 100 pixel and then I say something like position relative, you will see that it would start moving from its original place. There you go. But the problem is that now this is really not nice for responsiveness. What happens if I kind of do this? You see that particular element goes away from the screen and that is because this is only being displaced according to its own original position. It doesn't care about responsiveness or towards the right side. However, another good approach would be if we could tell HTML and CSS that hey this cross button would always be away from the top and away from the right border x amount of pixels that would be awesome right and the way to do that is to give this cross icon the position absolute now if I go ahead and if I try to give this position absolute you will see it's chaos and that is because right now it is somewhere I don't know where exactly that is but if you see it is supposed to be 100 pixel away from something compared to the left calculation but it's 100 pixel left away from some place we don't know what that is yet but if i make it left one pixel then we actually get the answer right now when we give this a position absolute this cross actually is calculating its position from the left border of the screen the entire screen it doesn't respect this dotted border which is the text element it doesn't respect this red background element not the blue background element it just goes all away to the body the outermost element element and that is essentially how position absolute works the position absolute always compares or calculates the position from its closest element which has a position relative this is very important to understand the position absolute element will see which is the closest relative element and then it's calculating according to that right now there is no element with position relative what we could do is that we could give a closest parent a position relative and then it will start calculating according to that Let's Let's try it out. For example, if I go ahead and if I give this container the position relative, which is this blue element, you will see that it would be one pixel away from that left border. If I give this position relative, you see that it came here because now it's calculating its position from this relative element of container. If I give this wrapper position relative two, that would mean that now its closest relative is going to be wrapper. Because if we go inside our index HTML, you will see what is the hierarchy. We got this cross element. Its parent is text. The 
the text parent is wrapper and the wrapper's parent is container. So if we give this wrapper position relative clause, if we talk about something like this, so if we give this relative, then that would mean that the closest parent that has relative would be this one. So it starts taking the calculation according to that. So if I go ahead and give this wrapper this relative, you see that now it's calculating based on this red element, which is the wrapper. Similarly, if I come even one step closer and if I go ahead inside and say, hey, this text is going to be position relative, that would mean then now it's going to start calculating from this dotted border because that's this text element. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this wrapper and then here I'm going to give this position relative and now you'll see that it's now calculating based on that. Now that we have got this situation clear that hey, we want this cross to be positioned according to this dotted border because we already discussed that hey, if we just do something like this, it should always be some pixel away from top and some pixel away from the right side of this dotted border, which is this text element. So what we do here is that once we got this figured out, instead of giving left, I could say right. So it means one pixel away from the right border. And then I could also say something like top and then I could say one pixel. And if I do this, you see that now it's exactly where we want it to be. And now if I try to do this, you see it is going to be always at the right position. Now, if I wanted this cross to be somewhat around here, all I need to do is potentially remove this position relative and then it will go to the outward element. And right now the outward is wrapper, so that's fine. But if I also wanted to do something like this, I don't want wrapper to be it, but rather the container element, then there we go. If you want this to on the body, you remove this and now it's on the body, the top right position of it, right? Another way of saying this situation where we wanted this to be on the body without having to change. For example, the situation was that, hey, we wanted this cross to be at the top right or at the bottom right, doesn't really matter. But we want that this cross should not take in consideration any of the DOM hierarchy or the elements. Then the easiest way without changing all of these position relatives in the DOM hierarchy, you could just go ahead and just say position fixed. When we do so, it literally doesn't care about anything in the DOM hierarchy and it will always be at a fixed position up top. And even if you scroll the page, it will still stay there. For example, let's do some magic here. Let's say we got not one wrapper, but we got like three to four wrappers. In fact, let's just create a couple of containers. So if I create those containers, you will see that we'll get a scroll now, right? And you see that in this particular case, this element is always at the top right. It really doesn't go away. If I try to go and change the styles now, it seems like this whole stack blades kind of got crazy when I did that because I cannot see the header here and I cannot see some other stuff here as well. Now I can see. Cool. So now that we have this, see, if I scroll, even in that particular situation, we got this cross right here, which is what we wanted. Imagine the material design that we usually use in our applications. And the material design has this really nice thing called the floating action button. What's that? It's sort of exactly the same thing. If I give this cross icon, let's say padding, for example, let's say give this a padding of 14 pixel, and then we give this a border radius of 50%, right? And then we give this a background color of wide. What do we got? We got a floating action button. And all I need to do now now is basically actually we can probably reduce this to 8 pixels that kind of seems much better and now all I need to do is that instead of right and top I could just say bottom 10 pixel or actually not that but rather this bottom 10 pixel and then right 10 pixel and now we got ourselves a floating action button right here that you cannot really see because I have to open this into a new window and then I can oh this is so colorful man so if I kind of move it right here you will see that here we got this floating action button and now if I scroll you see that the element is still there. Now that is where you would want to use the fixed position. So I hope that makes sense. So we discussed about three things, position relative, which essentially just moves things around when you want to kind of displace them from their original position in a relative manner. Position absolute is when you want the element to be displaced according to a particular parent. It could be the immediate parent or its parent or its parent in the hierarchy. You could go up on and on and on. And the third one is that position fixed and that basically plays is the particular element in the viewport regardless of the DOM hierarchy. So if you say 10 pixel from top, 10 pixel from left, that means you are talking about the screen's top and left position. So that's it. I hope you now understand how to use these different positions in CSS. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you learned something new, press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and share this video with other people that you think can get benefit from this one. As always, happy coding. I'm going to see you in the next one.